What do you think about my welds? Oh, I mean, there was a few good ones, but this isn't that. They were pretty, pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> so later today, we're doing the driver pan. We're gonna tack this in. Yep, and hopefully we'll get it all in today. The rear cross member, get it all welded up. <laughs> I said, this is oh, my helmet? We're past that. We got the yes, the yes welder thing. I love this thing. I don't have to, I'm no, no, more, no more blind welder. So start from the middle or the edge? Yeah, just make a little, yeah, start in the middle and make a little circle and puddle oh. it. You missed it? I think I made one of my... Oh, well... Oh, it's stuck, but... Yeah, not much. Not, not much. much. Yeah. Go up and down, don't go on an angle. There you go. You want to make a... Better? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, so let's hold it in place. So we can... Let's get one. This is all humped up right here. I mean, yeah, we're done. Yep, let me get this. Because that could be because of that a little bit too. How far off is this? Maybe push here and there. You gotta give me a good one in there. Yeah, that's better. So I got bead one on there, and then this was a little high, so I was able to tap that down flat while that was hot. So tip from Lair, move the metal while it's hot. Sounds good. I think I missed it. Got it. Let me see. Yeah, I missed it. Yep. <clears throat> I'm kind of all stretched out here. Now I know it. I have that problem too. Then the back. Here. Rest your hand right against the heater channel if you want as a guide. I can't really even reach. Okay. You want to try it from where I am? I'll get it in there. Take your time. You don't have to go too fast because you're not going to burn through to this nice heavy metal. Keep going there. Yep, yeah, keep going along there because it looks like you see a little bit of the lip. <coughs> you know, like. How's that look? I don't know. Well, <clears throat> looks on everything, but I think it looks pretty ugly, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not my car. Definitely not Larry approved, but no, so, more solid than expected. Yeah, I, gotta, I did I miss mean, over there. You I'll, can I'll take it down a little bit, and if you want to lay another bead on top of it, you can. Yeah, I'll, well, I'm going to ditch the camera and get in here like this because I can get in there better without the camera.
All right, guys, pan, both pans are officially tacked in. I'm gonna go for the cross member install. I just need to uh, drill a hole for that. See over here, the early cars have two holes, early being pre what, layer like 60, 59? 59, 60, I'm not sure, but the early er cars have these two holes, whereas your 60s cars have the one. Well, we're gonna let Larry do the uh, Rosetta Rosebud well here. It's, we, need, <laughs> we need to start pulling its weight on this project. <laughs> I'm a bystander. Here, there you Go in a few turns and if it's tight, back up a couple when they keep working it in. Go ahead, get that back down. Yep, there you go. Tell them. What? What we're doing. Oh, Jay is just chasing the threads for the rear cross member in the pan because a cheap pans and the Threads are all. Is that deep enough? Full of paint. No, try to get to go right through. And you feel it go through the bottom. There you go. All right. Could have used this tool back when I started riding and cross threaded all my seat bolts every time. <laughs> my old Kajiva. Now just take one of the bolt, yeah, and just see if it'll. It should go in nice. Maybe fingers. All right, good. We're good to go. Let's get it in. Okay, Jay now is attempting to put the driver's side <laughs> cross member in. Yeah, he is. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> you should be able to tap should, it, maybe. You might want to be a little more straighter. You know, like this. Oh, all right. Now. Well, that was easy. Yeah, you may have to pry up a little bit on the other channel and then tap it. There you go. Perfect. Thanks for the tip. You got it. All right, the pad. Can you put the pad. Yep. In? Get your. You well, that? first make sure that the holes line up. Yeah, you want to take the big bolt and run it down yeah, to it. position it a little more. All right, that's there. Just put it in and hold it for now, just so we keep our alignment. Kind of just using it as like an alignment sure. pin. Yep. Get your gasket in. Oh, that looks like. Fun. Yo, you're not flat here. You yeah, gotta, I gotta. Okay. Gotta lift up on that. Okay. First time doing this, first time doing this. They couldn't just make the gasket straight across and make it easy on you, huh? No. They were, no. They were originally nailed to the pan. This is why we do body off, right? That's what I do. But you, we're just gonna, for, you, you for would, your sake, sake, we're just gonna kind of slide it in there. Cause you would glue this. Yeah, I, I glue them down. All right, so that looks good now. Nice. So just make sure now we can get those in. That'll be next. Now it's good. We're going all hands on deck here. If we glued this down, we wouldn't have this problem. I know. If we did the body off, we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> Come my way. There it is. Yeah. Now go take that this way. There you go. It's right there.
that started. Yeah. So we got the passenger cross member in. So now what we have to do, we got to bolt it, everything lines up. Our bolt down through the torsion tube lines up. This is perfect here. We're just going to weld our spot welds in here now to tie in the heater channel with the cross member. And then up here, we're going to spot weld these two and that will connect both cross members together. And then when we put a package shelf in it, that'll lay along the top of here and get spot welded all the way across and all the way on the sides. Nice. Larry's, Larry's cheating right now. That's it? That's it. It didn't take much. Grounds are very important. I failed at the first weld, so. Oh, see, you're totally cheating. You're getting a better ground than I had. Well, that's all part of getting a better and, weld. Yeah. And you even got you even got a clamp. Uh, yeah. Totally, totally unfair. That's that's Larry approved. Larry approved. <laughs> Might not be Jason approved. There you go, son. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Well, we're gonna let you do the next two. Oh yeah. With the with the dinky dinky holes. We'll open them up. thought you and I would be in this car. Oh. We got metal. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wait a minute. Is that a zoom one? One little one, one little pinhole. One little pinhole. Uh oh. I can't Don't get even this. you're kidding. I can't get this out. You're now. joking. Pull it out. <laughs> Just leave it out, it's good. You sure? Yeah. You may have to tap that down while it's warm. True. That's what I, I want you to do. That. Yeah. While it's warm, hang on. See, see how much better? See how that closed up? Yeah. There you go. Alright. One more like that. Alright, close your eyes. Whoa! Got not, better. Not bad? So not a different, bad. hey, see what difference a clean ground clean makes? Clean ground and good metal underneath. All and right. a bigger hole. Let me fill that little hole, it's driving me nuts. Close your eyes. Okay. Alright, voila. Alright, nice job. Thank you. Nice teaching. Getting ready to attach the driver's side heater channel to the rear cross member. Oh, yeah, that moves so much. Just that little bit of heat from the welding. Yeah. Am I gonna get on? Am I gonna get on the uh, seam there at all there, or just that spot weld? Um, just do the spot welds. Because there's not much left. I guess. Okay, yeah, it's on that bottom because we don't have a spot weld, weld hole. Yeah. There. Well, let me heat it up first, and then I'll give it the. And you got one more way at the top too. I don't know if you can get in there from where you are, but. 
Yeah, not for that. Get comfortable first, that's key. Maybe. Yep. And also take um take the pick and hit down the lip of the heater channel. Oh, okay. Where it meets the crew member. Yeah. I don't think she's moving. All right. Well, it's probably my... already down, but you want to get a good bead along there as well. Right here. Yep. And then you can go up into the into that corner. Oh, down in yep, there. Yep. in there and then. nice from here yeah not bad a little heavy and I didn't get it moving does that look a little well there's like little I said the heater channel is like a double layer of metal there so it's gonna yeah you can put the heat to it you really want a good weld there Good, excellent. Good job. Good teacher. All righty. Well, there it is, guys. I'm smiling right now. There are floor pans welded in to the 58 patina ragtop bug. Larry, what did we get done today? What did we get done? We got the... Um... Open the door. Come on in and say hi. <laughs> so where are we at, Larry? So today we got the driver side pan heater channel in place, gaskets in, all tightened down, all welded down, ground down. We've got the rear cross member in, lined up, bolted down, the gasket in place there as well, all welded in place. And that's pretty much it for in here. We'll get you down here, what, on Sunday maybe? And we'll start tying in the A pillar and the B pillar on the driver's side. And then maybe we'll get to the front wheel houses. Nice. Well, there it is. So thank you guys for dropping in. Huge thank you to Larry thank for his you. tutelage, knowledge, and lending me his tools and his shop and his time. So thank you guys, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series because I know I am. All right, take care, guys. So again, this is why you leave your doors on, so you can check. Oh, wow, that's butter. There it is. Is it right there? Okay, 412. Let's, let's see. Look it out, come in here. Perfect. I'm glad I took that measurement. I'm glad I taught you how to measure. That's right. You did teach me how to do that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're going for a peek here. We're waiting on 